resolution and frame rate are typically the two largest factors that cause an action camera to stand out from the rest. Offering a higher resolution or faster frame rates improves the quality of your footage, and gives you more freedom to be creative with your shots. The SJCAMS J4000, however, stands out from the rest for a different reason, price. Although its image quality and shooting options are only average, its cost is far lower than the competitors that reviewed. For this reason, it's an option well worth considering. As is the case with most action camcorders, the maximum shooting resolution for the SJ4000 is 1080p. While 2.7K and 4K are becoming more commonplace, 1080p remains the standard for high-definition consumer video, and more than adequate for most users. Furthermore, cameras that offer 2.7 and 4K typically cost $300 to $400 more than the SJCAM. When it comes to frame rates, the offerings are again nothing more than standard for action cameras. It'll capture up to 30 frames per second in 1080p and 60 frames per second in 720p. 30 frames per second is the standard frame rate for footage at normal speed, doubling it at 60 allows limited slow motion shooting. The best action cameras can capture up to 120 fps for even slower and smoother slow motion video. The SJCAM has the shortest battery life of any action cam that reviewed, offering just 70 minutes per charge. That's 50 minutes below average and 20 minutes shorter than a typical GoPro. On the upside, however, SJCAM offers replacement batteries and external chargers at less than half the price of most competing models. You can use this action cam with or without its waterproof case. Within its included waterproof housing, it can be used at depths down to 98 feet. While this isn't exactly record-breaking, it's better than most and far exceeds my category average of about 73 feet. The SJ4000 is a simple action camera that is designed to be inexpensive above all else. Despite its low cost, I found that it offers consistently good performance. It doesn't have any flashy or revolutionary features and modes but instead offers what the vast majority of consumers will use the vast majority of the time. If you need the best looking footage at the highest resolutions or fastest frame rates, this camera is not for you. However, if you're looking to simply document an event or use your camera as a dash cam, there's really no reason to shell out the extra money for the industry's top features.